okay so I'm going to give you some support on completing this task so in front of me here I have the task you've got some birds amphibians mammals and insects here now you are just simply going to drag these into these different sections over here now what we could do to help us is for instance if we're thinking about a bird so this is a robin here we can remind ourselves by flicking back so i suggest you have this on another tab flicking back to the table the categories of the different animals now we know we're looking at a bird okay so this section is going to help us now it says which animals have backbones let's have a look do birds have backbones oh yes they do so straight away i know that this would go in here Okay, it could go in here. We could also think about which animals live in water. Do birds live in water? Hmm, let's think. They lay eggs on or above land. Okay, they live above ground, but some can swim. So they actually live above ground, so they don't live on water. So we know that it couldn't go in here. Okay, because they don't actually live in the water. Okay, which animals have feathers? Now we can have a look back here. Oh, a bird has feathers. Okay, so it could also go in here. So it's up to you. But when you go through the task, just make sure you've got some examples in each of them. Which animals lay eggs? Do birds lay eggs? Let's have a look. Um, they lay eggs on or above the ground. So yes, it could go in here as well. So we've got, it could go in the backbones, it could go in the lays eggs, and it can go in the animals that have feathers. So it's just about placing it in one of those and making sure you've got examples in all of them, okay? So that's how you can have a look. You can do the same for amphibians because you can go back to your table and have a look at amphibians and remind yourself of all of the facts about amphibians and that will help you to place your pictures, your animals in the different sections today.